In this video, we're going to learn about enhanced navigation. Enhanced navigation is actually the first step toward making application interactive, and it is actually enabled by default. And that is why when we use Blazor SSR, which is supposed to be working in the same way as a traditional web application, we're not actually seeing page refresh every single time. I don't know whether you paid attention or not, but it's not actually reloading the page every single time. So let's go into Visual Studio and run the application that we have so far. Okay, if I switch between these menu items, pay attention to the browser, and as you can see, the page is not actually completely re-rendered. Especially the, the left-hand sidebar stays there without being re-rendered. So the only possibility of this is that the whole page is actually partially rendered. And that is actually true. When you create a Blazor web application through the Blazor web app template, enhanced navigation is enabled. And that is enabled through this JavaScript file inside the root component, which is this app component. So let's actually remove this for now and see what happens. So let's restart the application without the blazor.web.js and let's see what happened. Going back to the application, now if you pay attention to the tab, and if I switch between this, now you can see that it refreshes the whole page, and you can actually fill the refresh. And if we bring up developer tool and go to network, now if I go to weather, and you can see that here is the request the sends to the slash weather page, and the type is document, the initiator is other, which means it initiated by some other page. If I go to manage the server, now the whole page refreshed. And again, this is the request and the initiator is other, the type is document. Document means the whole page. If we put the blazor.web.js back and try to run this again, now if you I switch between this, and if you pay attention to the top left corner, this favorite icon here, there is no refresh, right? There's no spinners going on. Everything on the page looks much smoother. Now, if I clean up this network tab here and now I switch back to home, as you can see that it goes to localhost, which is home, right? But you can see the type is fetch. It's not document anymore. And the initiator is blazor.web.js. If I clean up this again and switch to weather, same thing. Type is fetch, initiator is blazor.web.js. Clean up this again, go to manage servers, I get the same thing. Now, if I go over here and click on edit server, now one is the request and it's also fetch. And initiator is also the same JS file. And another thing I want to show you is if we go to elements and we open up this and open up again, open up article. So this thing within the article is the actual page component. And if I switch between these items here, if I go over here, you see that only this portion is updated, not everything else. Now I switch to home, only this portion is updated, not everything else. This is indeed a partial page reload. Now, how does this work? Let's go back to a diagram and then I'll show you how this works. Our Blazor SSR was enhanced navigation enabled, which is enabled by default. Whenever the user interact with the DOM, there's supposed to be HTTP request sent to the web server, just like in the traditional application. It's supposed to do this, but it's actually intercepted by our blazor.web.js file. And then the blazor.web.js file internally uses fetch API to contact the web server. And it sends the HTTP request to the server, the HTTP response comes back, and then the blazor.web.js file handles, uh, parse the HTTP response and get the information that it needs. And then it smartly patches the DOM, which means that the DOM is partially rendered. Now, with this model, we actually achieved interactivity, depending on the definition that we provided in the previous lesson. Partially rendered web applications supposed to be interactive web application. So therefore, 
The laser SSR by default, when enhanced navigation is enabled, is actually an interactive application. Even though we didn't add server interactivity, we didn't add WebAssembly interactivity, Blazor SSR application is an interactive application because our blazor.map.js file. This file is written by Microsoft. When you work with Blazor SSR, you don't need to write any JavaScript. This application is already an interactive web application. And that's all I want to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please let me know. If not, I will see you in the next lesson.